Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'll be taking a look at the Pinebook Pro. I actually just received it in the mail a couple days ago, and it's been a while since I released the video. I traveled uh, for a few days, and I was sick for a pretty long time, but I thought it was about time I show off this uh, laptop here. So this laptop is a $200 ARM-based laptop. It's got 4 gigabytes of RAM, a 1080p display. 64 gigabytes of RAM, although there may be options in the future to have bigger sizes there. It's got USB-C, a 10,000 milliamp battery, headphone jacks, microphones, front-facing cameras. It's an all-around solid device. And this is made by the team over at Pine64. They've released a laptop previously, just a Pinebook, and it's like a $100 laptop that was not really designed to you be used as a daily driver it's more designed to be something you tinker around with or something to get very basic stuff done and so this one's just a bit more powerful for two hundred dollars and so my key thing is in wanting to see if this is a laptop that is powerful enough to do you know basic stuff like web browsing office suite checking emails and of course the important thing about it is this is an arm based laptop so the architecture of the cpu is different than the ones on you know regular laptops by like Intel and AMD CPUs. Um, ARM CPUs are the type of CPUs that are on your phones or smartphones so they tend to be more low power so usually better for battery life which makes sense on like a laptop because it's a portable device and you know battery life is is really important. They tend to be not as powerful as AMD and Intel counterparts but you know, they usually, they seem to get better all the time. So we'll see. I'm gonna show you just a brief unboxing. I was kind of doing it with one hand, so it's probably not the best unboxing, but I just wanted to give you guys a glimpse of how this is packaged. So what you are seeing here is me opening this laptop. It comes in this cardboard box from other unboxing videos I've seen. Looks like this is the standard here. So there's no like nice Pine64 you know, styled box, but that's fine. You know, it's just an added cost that it's not really needed. I did kind of struggle to take it out, you know, with one hand and all. Yeah, once I open up this little cardboard box, the laptop is, it's got some light foam here. And voila. The, the device itself is pretty sturdy. It's got no logo, but again, it's not needed. The keyboard is actually pretty good. The overall build quality is pretty good, especially for the price. It's got the little Pine 64 logo there, so that's pretty neat. But yeah, it feels really good to type on. And overall, the laptop doesn't feel cheap, you know, for being a $200 laptop. It's just, I would say it's just as good of quality as you'd find in like the typical $200, $300, maybe even $400 laptops. And here I'm just doing a quick boot up. So this includes the default uh, Pine64 Open Sesame OS here. I think it's a Debian based uh, OS. It's kind of weird to log in. I had to, I had to type in like root as username and password. And here's uh, the desktop. Looks like it's running Mate as the desktop environment here. But yeah, anyways, this is a, just a little glimpse of what the laptop itself looks like. And in, the fu in a future video though, I'm gonna actually review the OS which I'll be showing off in an upcoming video. So there you guys have it. I'll be doing lots of testing with this laptop. I'm sure there's gonna be lots of uh, different OS's available. And so this should, you know, keep a lot of good content coming. So if you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe. And I'll be covering this Pinebook Pro. And of course there's lots of things going on with it already, which is pretty uh, promising there. 
So if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you all next time.